So I got a real quick one for you today, and I think some people may be a little indifferent with the idea behind this product. This has been on my radar for a while as I'd seen these advertised, and then out of nowhere, the company actually hit me up and said, hey, would you like us to send you one of these? And it was like, sure, why not? So they sent me one, actually quite a while ago, USPS in typical fashion, lost it and they had to send me out another one. So I'm a little late to the party, but this is a grid studio frame. And the packaging here is, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the heck is all this? What is this little plant there? Some wax sealed, a little ribbon with their logo and, and everything on there. This is, this is a nice presentation to say the least as far as a product like this. So these guys, what is this? I think this might be like a holder or something. Mounts it on the wall, I don't know. Figure that out later. But what these guys do is they take technology, old technology and tear it down and frame it up nicely so you could put it on display. This little card here, grid it has been more than 14 years since the original iPhone. Oh, I guess they're giving away like a limited edition iPhone artwork type of thing. Okay, whatever. Not too interested in that, as I'm not an iPhone or Apple person, but I am a uh, video game fan. Love me some video game stuff. And this is supposed to be, I believe, a Game Boy Pocket. We'll have to find out when we open it up, but look at that, I mean, this is like, gift giving ready like you don't have to wrap it or anything but we're gonna break that seal with the uh i don't know what that is what does it smell like it smells pretty good actually i just tasted it too kind of didn't taste uh that great but it smelled all right but i don't care about all that let's open this thing up let's see what we got Make sure it's not damaged or anything. Might be a little a little dusty. I mean, I guess I could like nicely unwrap it, but I don't care. I just want to rip her open. And I and I have it upside down. Wait, what's on the back there? Okay. Pull off the uh, protective plastic. There we go. Kind of getting stuck in there a little bit. There, there we go. It kind of pushed down a little bit. So I thought I didn't want to scratch anything. So it kind of moved down. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> there is that. Is this like an original shell? I really, no, I, I don't think so. I, I, is that an original shell? Might be. It's really hard to tell. I mean, there's no... I don't know. I mean, all the components in there, like, you know, the board is obviously original. Get that light out of the way. The power supply circuit. We got the shell here, a little Tetris action in the background there. I think they do like different variants. Buttons, the membranes, the main board, contrast adjustment. Everything's like marked. Like this is a display piece item and it looks really good. I mean, I don't know, do they use like non-working systems or are they just gutting whatever they can get um, out there type of thing? I wasn't like too big, I didn't, like, this could be an original shell. I, I don't know. When I had a Game Boy Pocket, um, I stuck with the original Game Boy for a long while. I didn't get a Pocket right away, I don't think, but the one I had was a silver one. So I don't, I'm not sure about this. Looks like that A is a little faded on there. They do tell you like, you know, the shells and whatnot can have a little scuffing action, but this shell looks all right. That A is a little faded. Uh, and that you could have some wear and, and scratches and 
you know, whatnot on the speaker, on the, uh, the main board type of thing, or, you know, there could be some minor corrosion or scratches. This board looks good for the most part. Some scuffs on the cartridge slot, but that's about it. It's just a display piece. I have no idea if you could tear this thing apart, put it back together, and it actually runs. That's what I'm wondering. Like, I mean, there's millions of uh, Game Boys out there. Some people will be highly against this kind of thing, and some people will be cool with it. And I understand either way that you want to approach it. Um, to me, this, this looks really cool. This definitely looks really cool. They make these for all sorts of different consoles, like, you know, handhelds, iPhones, stuff like that, PSPs, uh, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, original Game Boy. I just spit all over the glass, my bad. But yeah, pretty cool. If you're interested in one of these, if this is the kind of thing for you, I'll put a link in the description so you could check it out. It's a neat display item, but beyond that, I mean, it's not a usable thing. I'm just going to stare at it. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Big ass blurry thumb butt. Bye.